So I was looking on, you know, looking on YouTube, you know, trying to find out stuff, you know, be nosy. And I saw that you are managed by Marlon Brown. That's Energy's father. Yeah. What's the what what question? What's the benefits of having management? Oh, it's like it'd be days he'll text me and be like, Oh, I need beats for this certain rap. Mm. And I'll and I'll be like, All right, say less. And mm. I'll go ahead and make that pack and he mm. get it to them. And like also right now, he's also like uh he does my like negotiation contracts and stuff. Like he be mm. negotiating my contracts and like It'd be a bunch of stuff that, like, he'll get me into as well that's going to benefit me. Mm. Nice, nice, nice. Having that team, having that extra uh, person to fight on your behalf. Yeah. I'm sure that, 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 I'm sure that helps, like, with, like, talking about prices. Because I, I hear the thing where they say, okay, like, producers say, I'm in the studio with an artist. I don't want to bring the split sheet to the studio, you know, like, to talk about the money and stuff. So like your manager can go yeah. in there and be that person to talk about the numbers and the money and all that stuff that scares people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 That, that that makes sense. That makes sense. Cause I, I heard like a lot of producers say you don't want to bring the split sheet to the studio. He's like the Suge Knight around you, but without being violent. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. He makes yeah. shit happen. Yeah. That's fire. That's a gem. That's a fucking gem. Okay, here's another one. How should a producer price their beats? What to consider when pricing? Oh, the way I was pricing my beats was basically off of demand. Mm. And it was always a bunch of people, like, always DMing me daily about, like, they want beats and stuff. Like, it would be days I'll post a beat on my on my page, and, like, multiple people would be like, oh, I want that. How much is it? Mm. And, like, we're having multiple people asking how much is it. And like they want to buy it, but pay the same price. It's like might as well up it and see whoever's paying the most can get it. That makes sense. That makes sense. So it's about the demand. So what if you are uh, uh, somebody that don't have a demand? You're a complete nobody, and yeah, you just nobody. What 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 should you do? There's no demand. What the hell should you do? Oh, to be honest, of pray. when I first started off, I I had my beach priced at like fifty. And okay. oh nah nah not like twenty more like twenty thirty dollars because like okay. you know I was still trying to make my name because okay. like people was fucking with me then too and then like I just kept going higher every time the demand was getting more up there so like I started low yeah, yeah so I was lowballing myself at first till people was like fucking with me so then like that's when I finally started charging how much I feel as if my beats are worth mm. and, and you know it makes me think like. You started off low, and then that makes, you know, when it's lower, more people will buy. Not all of them make the song, but it's low, which is more of an opportunity, right, for more people to get their hands on your production, right? Mm -hmm. And then somebody might hear it, do something to it, and maybe it shoot up a little bit, right? Is that, like, how it kind of happened? It just started shooting up a little bit because more more people got it. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So yeah, I just heard that fucking. Uh, oh, there's the camera right there. Yeah, I just heard that. Take that into consideration when you're pricing your shit. 